Hello again, welcome to Hawthorne Inspection Cameras. Uh, this here is a quick demo uh, of use of the M7 camera system. Uh, this has got seven and a half inch screen, uh, 1.23 inch self leveling camera head, 200 feet of push rod, um, text overlay, footage counter, sound, light control, USB recording, and works with 18 volt uh, external batteries or a 12 volt AC-DC adapter which is provided. Uh, so I'm just going to walk you through the uh, function of the system. So just take your battery in the cradle in the back, it securely uh, inserts, hold the power button down until it beeps twice and the red light comes on and you're ready to start viewing uh, your pipes. Uh, let's go through some of the functions. So if, let's go left to right here. Uh, you want to turn the lights on the camera head down, you can turn them all the way down. Let's say you're in brilliant, bright new pipe. Um, you can turn them all the way up if you're in larger pipe and need to, to, uh, to brighten up your view. I like to keep it somewhere in the middle for uh, longevity of your battery. Uh, sound and counter, simply you can move your sound, your counter around the screen or make it disappear, which is useful if you want to get it out of the way of an obstruction. Uh, you can reset the footage counter, so let's actually pull this out a bit. Hold that button down until it flashes, let go, resets to zero. You want to turn your sound on, they all come with a sound. Hold it for five seconds, you know the little icon comes here, and you're emitting 512 hertz frequency. All right, so let's turn that sound off. Five seconds, it will turn itself off. Uh, let's talk about some of the other features you got here. You got a USB recording. Um, to start that up, press the record button. It will power up the recording board in here. Uh, it's dormant until you've actually turned it on. It saves power um, until you actually really need it. So we'll fire that up now. Wait for that. It'll switch video. It always gives you instructions and tell you what it's doing. So you just have to have a little patience. In the meantime, over here there's some basic text overlay. You press the text button here and you can hunt and peck around for, uh, put in your address or the uh, company name, that sort of thing. Uh, anything that's on the screen will be recorded to USB when you're recording. So the footage counter, any text that you bring up on the screen uh, will get recorded uh, on the USB. So let's put this in now. So stick that in the front. It will tell you that you inserted a valid USB, uh, which is handy because if it's not a valid USB, it will tell you otherwise. So it's been plugged in. Great. Press the recording button. It tells you it's on. The red light is on. It is now recording video. You can pause. You can press stop. You can uh, cease the video by doing pressing the recording button, sorry, the stop button again. It goes off and tells you it stopped. Uh, to access those files, let's go, let's go to that. Press the home button. Pressing the home button gives you various options. Reel in, which takes you back to video from the camera. Setup, which we'll go through later, tells you, uh, allows you access into some of the settings on the system or the USB stick. So let's press enter into that. USB. It's very much like Windows files. Note that I've got a lot of files on here. REC stands for recording. So all the files that you may have on here of the uh, you know pictures of family or documents, all those files will remain. It will create a new file folder called REC for record. Press enter. And there's all the videos that I've got here. And this is the one I'm looking at. So you can actually toggle through. Each one gets a time and date stamp, so 2021, uh, the date and the time. If you want to rename that file, you can rename it. All right. Or you can actually delete that file. It will ask you if you want to delete. Let's say OK. It will delete the file from the USB. Uh, or you can just simply return. Let's. Uh, show you some of the setup options here by pressing home again, toggle over to setup. 
You could change the brightness of the screen. Let's do that. Uh, which might help on a bright day. Press enter there. You can change the contrast, the hue, the saturation. So basically the view of your screen. Uh, you can change your recording device. It should always be USB on these systems. There's no internal hard drive. Uh, and the quality. If you've got a small, uh, less than a gigabyte USB, you can change the quality. It will affect the quality of the video. So I always recommend to keep it on HQ, which is high quality, because USB keys these days are typically 16 gigs. So no need to toggle around with that. Um, and then there's your system here. So you can actually change the time uh, of on the system here, the time zone you're in, uh, and actually manually change the time of the daylight savings time, because that will affect the time and date stamp and maybe the videos. Let's cancel that. Uh, and restoring of defaults. So those are essentially your options in here. Pressing home will get you back to your real in, which is your video. And when you're done, simply pull out your disk, USB key, it will tell you it's out uh, and you're still running. Uh, this one's equipped with Wi-Fi as well. Uh, that's a, an optional extra, allowing you to stream directly to your uh, Android or Apple phone or tablet. We're using the Hawthorne free app. Uh, just another option to be able to see whatever's on the screen will be twinned on your uh, device. Um, and finally, to turn it off, just hold the power button down for a couple seconds, it'll turn itself off. Always recommend removing batteries from uh, any device that you have, uh, just to, to keep the life and make sure it's fully charged. This does not charge the battery while it's running. Uh, you have an option to run off ACDC or the battery. There's no option to actually charge the battery when it's inserted. Um, but you'll get probably four hours, maybe more, on a single charge of battery which is great for uh, you know, half a day's work in the field. Hopefully that's helpful. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out to us at 1-866-Hawthorne or at www.hawthornecorp.com. Uh, always happy to take your questions, always happy to, to help you through any technical issues you've got. Um, thanks very much for watching and uh, have a great day.